Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on bearings and distances. In this video, we'll be looking at compass bearing. In compass bearing, we make use of the four cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, and acute angle. The format is north theta degrees east, or north theta degrees west, or south theta degrees east, or south theta degrees west, where theta is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. That is the definition of the acute angle. This is what we'll be doing in this video, and it is an introduction to bearings and distances. So we start with problem 1. Problem 1. Draw each of the following. A. South 63 degrees east. B. North 48 degrees west. C. North 26 degrees east. And D. South 75 degrees west. These are the formats in which compass bearings are being represented. It cannot be east 63 degrees south. No. It must start with either south or north and after the angle it must be followed by east or west as represented here otherwise you are not doing bearing at all so we start the solution from a for a we have south 63 degrees east then we have to draw the four cardinal points and uh, it is the arrow is always pointing at the north pole and this is south 63 degrees east so it is south eastern direction and how many degrees is 63 degrees so we have from the south 63 degrees towards the eastern direction then we draw the line so this is the diagram of south 63 degrees east we then go to B. B says north 48 degrees west. Again, we draw our cardinal points. And uh, this is north western direction. So we are going to be moving to the western direction from the north. By how many degrees? By 48 degrees. We then draw the line from the point. So that's it for B. We go for C, not 26 degrees east. We still have our points. This is not east. So it is within this region. So we are going to start from the north and move towards the east, an angle of 26 degrees. So we move angle 26 degrees. We then draw the line. That is the diagram for C. We go for D south 75 degrees west so for south 75 degrees west we still have our cardinal point it is south west how many degrees 75 degrees so we start from the south and get our angle 75 degrees we then have our line so we are done with solution to problem one since we have solved from a to d then we go to problem two for problem two in each of the following diagrams state the bearing of a from b from where from b so we are going to concentrate at b in each of the cases and get our calculation done so we start from a starting from a since the bearing is from b so we are going to carry out all our calculations from b here but we need some information at a to enable us carry out the calculation at b if you look at this angle 40 degrees it is alternate to this angle that's 40 degrees because this is z angle since this north south pole and the north-south pole, they are always parallel to each other. 
even if you have as many points as possible, the north-south poles are always parallel to each other. Where this line joining A and B is the transversal. So we then read the bearing of A from B. So the bearing of A from B is going to be north 40 degrees to the eastern direction. So we have it as north 40 degrees east. So we are done with A. We then go to B. And for B, since we have to stay the bearing of A from B, so we carry out all our calculation at B and there's no information needed from A. So we need this angle here from the south. You can't read east 30 degrees south. That is blunder. Please. It is always from the south or from the north. And when you move, you either move towards the east or move towards the west. The same thing if you are in the south, you either move to the east or you move to the west. So the north and south are the reference points. So we call this one theta. And you know, 13 degrees plus theta will give us 90 degrees. So we now have theta to be equal to 90 minus 13 degrees. And that gives 77 degrees. We can then state the bearing of A from B which is south 77 degrees east. And that's all for problem two. We then go to problem three. For problem three, the bearing of P from Q is not 56 degrees west. What is the bearing of Q from P? We are giving P from Q and we are to find Q from P. So in our solution, we start from Q because the bearing of P from Q. So we start from Q and get the cardinal point of Q and northwest, northwest, how many degrees? 56 degrees. So we are here. We move to the western direction by 56 degrees and draw the line. We now get to P. We draw the cardinal points of P also. And for your information, this angle here is alternate to this angle. So we have the angle there as 56 degrees. We can then state the bearing of Q from P here. This is from P. So we say the bearing of Q from P is south 56 degrees east so it is to the eastern direction and that's all for the solution of problem three we then go to problem four for problem four village a is located eight kilometers from b on a bearing of south 72 degrees east find the bearing of b from a this is similar to problem three so we have our solution here Village A is located 8 kilometers from Village B on the bearing of south 72 degrees east. Um, from here, we are concentrating at B. So we have B here. The cardinal point is given there. And this is southeast. Southeast. And how many degrees? That's 72 degrees. So we have 72 degrees. Then we draw the line. And that distance is 8 kilometers to A. We also draw the cardinal point of A. Then we know also again that this angle is equal to this angle. So we have the angle there as 72 degrees. To find the bearing of B from A now, we concentrate at A and read the direction. So it is not west by how many degrees? 72 degrees. Therefore, the bearing of B from A is not 72 degrees west. And that's all for solution to problem four. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. 
please like and share this video remember to subscribe to our youtube channel also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on bearings and distances until we come your way again goodbye